Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Questions and Answers here at VTech Academy. You're about to get schooled. All right, we've had a, a, a Gmail account set up called askvtechacademy at gmail.com and people have been sending in their questions and I am here to answer them. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First one here is from Orlando Renteria. He asks, any luck with the video being made on an auto RSX harness to be used on an EC, EK, or DC2? I'm sad to say I still haven't done that. And I apologize. I really need to do that. In fact, we talked about it in the last video. That is something that's high on my list. I will try to get to that next time I have the opportunity, which should be week after next. Anyway, it's on the list. We will do it. All righty. All right, so the next one is from Jason Halls. And this one is a little bit more of a Hasport question than a VTech Academy. He says, hey guys, are you close to finishing up the first gen CRX or third gen K-swap mounts yet? And will there be an option for K24? Thanks. Quick answer, closer, yes. K24, yes. Uh, basically, um, as a matter of fact, and I'm sure tried by the time this video is out, we should probably be done with that. Uh, we uh, Today, uh, Rob was able to finish the block bracket. I made a few changes. Uh, we went to, with some larger bolts, and it has to do with actually something that's totally unrelated with the first gen. Uh, but um, that uh, got finished up today, so uh, um, I'm not sure when that will be in production. Hopefully next week. Right now, the machine is making 84 to 7 B-series mounts, <clears throat> but we should be able to get that back into production pretty soon here. Okay, now next we have Quentin, and he says, hey guys, I am currently sourcing parts for my 2000 Honda Civic, which I will be swapping with the current L15B7. I know this has been done once before in an EK with your mounts and axles. Uh, I'm trying to figure out wiring and if I can use factory engine harness with a swap. I will be running the factory ECU with the K-Tuner V2. Any advice on getting the factory harness to work with the EK chassis? First of all, you have to use a factory harness, and that means a factory engine harness. Um, that is going to have one, the large plug that goes to the ECU that has a majority of the connections. Uh, now the second plug that goes to the ECU, uh, you're going to need to try to find that particular plug from a car. And you're going to want to get it from the car you got the engine from because they change depending on the engine. Uh, so with that second plug, that plug is going to interface between the engine harness and the car. Uh, that wiring actually, uh, although I've done it for a fit, I haven't done it generically for all cars. So I don't have wiring information on that. The person you're going to want to talk to is <coughs> Bryant Robinson. He is on Instagram under Divergent Concepts. He's the one that actually did the wiring on his Civic EK. It's probably the one you're talking about. It was a VTech Academy video. In fact, I think we might even have uh, contact information for him uh, in the description of that video. But you need to contact him about wiring. Uh, I'm not sure if he's got a wiring harness available yet, but I do know he's doing wiring for other people. So that's something you want to talk to him about. At some point, I will do the wiring for one of our cars. That is an EK. Actually, I'll probably do it in a DC too. Uh, and once I do that, I'll publish that information. But for the time being, you're going to need to talk to Bryant about that. Okie dokie. Next question we have is from Jose Rodriguez. He goes, hi, I have a question for you. I have a DC2 with a K-swap with the Accord transmission and EGK4 mount kit. I just bought a Civic SI 2014 transmission. What mount do I need to fit this tranny in my car? Well, you actually don't need any different mounts. You need a different bracket. The bracket you want is the one that's on top of the transmission. So uh, on your transmission currently, there's two bolt holes. On the transmission you just bought, there's actually three bolt holes. So the transmission bracket you need is called an EGK2 LHB. That's actually the one that's also used on the EGK2 mount kit. Uh, just order that. I think it's $79 and Hasport can fix you right up with that. Okie dokie. Uh-oh, we have another one from Jose. This one's a little bit more difficult. He goes, hi, I saw your video fixing the speed sensor on the K20. I'm an Accord 2004 transmission. 
with an EP3 harness. And actually now he has a 2014 SI transmission. Same thing though, as far as wiring goes. Uh, he goes, I have, it has an EP3 harness. I found a plug on a TSX harness that fits the speed sensor, but I don't know if the cable order is the same. Can you please help me? Thanks in advance. So let's talk about that real quick. First of all, if you found a TSX harness that the plug is black on and in the first position, by the way, let's talk about wiring on a, uh, uh, on almost any Honda connector. Okay. So when you're looking at a Honda connector and you want, and you're talking about positions on the Honda connector, what you need to do is you need to know whether or not, first of all, it's a male or female, uh, connector. If it's a female connector, you're going to look at the wire side of the plug and you're going to put the clip pointing upward. Okay. If you're looking at a male connector, you can look at it with the prong side sticking in your face. Okay. With the clip up. So then when you look at the order, you look at left to right. So from left to right, it'd go one, two, three. And if there's another level, four, five, six, if there's another level, six, seven, eight. But basically it goes left to right, top to bottom. So we're talking here about a female connector that he's talking about. It should be a black plug, not a blue plug on the TSX. And the way it should work out is if you look at it from the wire side, uh, you want to look at the, the wire colors and you should have um, a yellow black, I'm sorry, a yellow blue wire, a black blue wire and a brown yellow wire. Now, uh, the yellow blue wire is the, um, is the power wire and you're going to want to take that power wire and connect it to the same wire that goes to the TPS. That's going to give you five volts for that, uh, sensor, which is what it needs. Now the next wire is the, um, that you're interested in is a black blue wire. The black blue wire is the one that's going to go back to the EP3 harness, uh, to the, uh, to the actual vehicle speed sensor that <clears throat> I believe on the EP3 is a white green wire. It connects to a 18 on the ECU. Uh, and you want to make sure that, that um, black blue wire connects to the vehicle speed input, which is the, uh, uh, green, white wire might be green, white, white, green wire. Uh, anyway, it goes to a 18 on the ECU on the ECU plug. And by the way, the way you tell 18 on the ECU plugs, take the ECU plug, you point the wires at you and you start counting across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <coughs> and keep going until you find 18. <coughs> so, it, so it needs to have continuity to that wire. Uh, the last wire on there is the brown yellow wire and that's your sensor ground. And the brown yellow wire needs to connect to a brown yellow wire on the TPS. So you find the TPS, which is the one that is the throttle position sensor. You find that wire, brown yellow, you tap into that and that'll give you the proper power, ground and signal for your vehicle speed, I'm sorry, counter staff speed sensor, which is on your 06 Civic SI or your Accord transmission. Next we have Michael Bossy, maybe B-O-S-S-E, Bosey. Anyway, we'll see. We'll try Bossy. Anyway, uh, maybe boss. boss, you don't think you pronounce E? Maybe not? Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Michael Boss. Hi. I have a 2000 EM1 with a JDM K20A and six speed swap using the EKK1 kit. I now have a subframe from a DC1 I want to install. Uh, do I just need the brackets from the EKK4 kit to do the conversion? Thanks. Well, probably. Depends on the age of your mount kit. And here's how to tell. If on your current mount kit, the mount on mounts on the rear subframe and not on the back of the transmission. And by mount, I mean the part with the urethane in it. If the mount mounts on the subframe, then yes, the only thing you need is the brackets from the EKK2 to convert your mount kit over. <coughs> Some people though have done their swaps many years ago and they have the old, old EKK1 and that has a rear mount actually on, mounted on the engine and a bracket on the subframe. If that's what you have, then what you actually need to do is you need to switch both the rear mount 
and the rear bracket, um, along with the two side brackets. Uh, but if you have the more current one, which has a mount on the subframe, all you need are brackets. And those are 79 bucks each from Hasport, and give them a call. All right, so next one, Mac Diesel. Love that name. Anyway, it says, hey, Brian, I'm assuming. Uh, I was saving this for the live feed. It's too long for that format as is. Short question is, what would be required to, inc to install a K24Z3 or equivalent uh, into a chassis that is already has, to a chassis that already has an 04 K24A2 swapped? Looking for ease of transition over outright power if there are better choices. I mean, ease of transition would be to use a, an Accord, Accord K24A, um, K24A. If, you're, if your K24A2 is tired and not blown up, you can basically take the head and swap it over onto an Accord K24A and uh, you'd be good to go. Um, and that might be the way to do that. Um, um, it might be an easier way to do that because you can buy those Accord engines super cheap. Uh, but let's say uh, your K24A2 is really hurt and the head's hurt and you can't do that, then obviously the, uh, the K24Z3 is a viable option. <coughs> it's going to be um, a little bit more difficult, but let's kind of talk about what goes on to do that. Uh, you have a 2000 Insight. What that means right off the bat is the block bracket is not going to quite fit right. So uh, the top two holes on the block bracket, those bolts are going to go in fine, but the bottom hole is shifted down slightly. So you're going to have to actually slot that bottom hole to uh, be able to use a bottom bolt on that bracket. But can be done, it needs to be uh, enlarged probably, uh, probably about three eighths of an inch, I'm guessing, uh, but it needs to be slotted so that you can get the bolt down and get it into the hole. Uh, for whatever reason, Honda changed that. I'm not really sure. It probably has to do with damage during crashes, and they're trying to reduce that. Uh, might have been, you know, something else weird. Who knows? Uh, but that's uh, that's one thing you're gonna have to do. Uh, the next thing is uh, the electronics are really different. Um, the quick solution is to purchase from. Uh, used to be called Kamiata, K-Power. Uh, used to be called Kamiata.com, now it's called K-Power. Uh, they have a, a timing chain cover that allows you to mount the, um, uh, allows you to mount the crank angle sensor from your old TSX into that block. And so you would mount both the, uh, uh, the sensor and you would mount the, the reluctor or the the gear with the teeth on it, you would mount those onto your K24Z and that would allow you to uh, uh, use your current computer to, to control that engine. Uh, you're also going to have to change one of the cam gears on the camshaft itself. I believe it's the one on the exhaust cam. Uh, you're going to need to change that cam gear as well. Uh, it's different, so you'd want the cam gear and the reluctor on the crank angle sensor plus the crank angle sensor with that timing chain cover. Uh, and then that would allow you to run that newer engine with the, um, uh, with the older uh, ECU. Um, again, if your other head is not damaged, you could actually take your, your old uh, K24, K, K24A2 head and put it on that. And that would allow you to use a header that's on that. Because one of the things about the K24Z is it has a single outlet exhaust. So, uh, uh, that's going to require a different, uh, different header. So anyway, that's uh, basically what you're going to need to do. Otherwise, the harness works the same. Um, <coughs> everything else is pretty much, pretty much, pretty much going to bolt right on and work fine, uh, including your uh, K Pro V4, your CJ's converted harness. All that's going to work fine. Anyway, uh, said. Uh, he also says here, everything has been running well for the last thousand miles, but the older engine, all the older engines have dried up and are high mileage. Snagging a newer Z3 would be my only reliable source in the future. Should calamity strike. Oh, so it sounds to me like your engine's fine right now. Uh, I'm aware of the crank angle sensor came out. Okay, so he knows that $300 cover. I was curious about other changes besides header exhaust changes. <coughs> so actually, 
I just told you everything you're aware of. So, uh, one final note, my A2 has been tuned to run on 87 and doesn't knock. Hoping to do the same in the future with, with future power plants. Uh, she's an aspiring street daily. Yeah, I mean, basically, if you don't get too aggressive with the uh, with the ignition timing, you can run the um, the uh, uh, lower octane fuels in there. Um, the heads are incre incredibly well designed, and knocking isn't a problem. Uh, you're just not going to get the same horsepower out of them because you can't ex advance the timing as much. But anyway, uh, Mac, uh, sounds to me like you're aware of everything you need to do. Uh, the only thing I didn't see uh, mentioned in there was the um, the cam the cam sensor change. But uh, yeah, now th there is actually um, a converter being worked on by a company to change the pulse from the newer engine to the older engine. Uh, hopefully that comes out before too long. Uh, that would actually simplify things and possibly be a little less expensive than the $300 timing chain cover. But um, sounds to me like uh, your car is future proof. So uh, keep on motoring. All right, guys, that's going to conclude it for tonight. We are uh, VTech Academy. Uh, we will uh, be back again with another batch of questions. There was actually quite a few there that I wasn't able to answer because I need to do a little research on them. Uh, I don't know everything off the top of my head. Uh, uh, yeah, actually I do. Uh, I just didn't have time for it. Anyway, so guys, thank you very much and uh, we will see you next time. I appreciate you joining us and if you have a question, please send us an email at askvtechacademy at gmail.com and we will answer your question. Thanks a lot. Hey guys, welcome to another ep what, what the hell? Welcome to another episode of Ask VTech Academy Anything, and uh, you're about to get schooled. <laughs> no, screw it up. All right. <laughs> is the E. I need to reset that alarm. All right, a little alarm break here. Oh, E G Q. Oh, sh I was totally f***ing up. I'm going to start over from the... <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> 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 <coughs>